Hi everybody, Jane here, and today I'm doing a review of Miss Poe. And this book was sent to me quite a while ago by the author for an honest review, and I never did get around to it. So this is the advanced reader copy, but I did decide to take it off my shelves and read it, and I'm glad I did. I had a really good time with it. So this is based on, this is a historical novel about Poe's relation, Edgar Allan Poe's relationship with Francis Osgood. Now that is a real historical thing, although I think historians are still not sure whether Francis and Edgar had a strictly platonic relationship or if they were having an affair. Francis was a married woman, however, her husband and her had a lot of difficulties. And I believe that historically they were separated about this time. Uh, historically too, she was friends with Mr. Poe, she was friends with his wife, and then for reasons that are not entirely clear, the friendship ended abruptly. There was some letters that people believed existed that might have been destroyed. All of the stuff in the book, a lot of the stuff in the book, happened, but historians are not clear on the context. So this is this writer's ideas about what happened. It was really fun. I enjoyed it. I would call it a four out of five. The biggest problem I had was some of the pacing and then some of the things that happened that I was like, that's kind of weird. I'm not sure why you did that. But then as I was looking at the historical stuff, I was like, oh, because it really happened. And so you had to deal with that. So a lot of the things that don't work in this book for me are just because of history and because we have to do to a degree what history says to write a historical novel. The take that the author has on this book is that Francis does have an affair with Poe and Mrs. Poe and her become very close and then bad things start happening to Francis and there is a question of if the very frail, very sickly Mrs. Poe is making these things happen to her because she realizes that Francis and Edgar Allan Poe are more than just fellow writers, platonic friends. This book has some really good characterization. It's really great for the time period and setting. I loved that. There is one thing I want to read to you, and it is about, um, it is Edgar talking to Francis about Mr. Astor. I looked at him in surprise. Mr. Astor deals in opium? He kept his gaze upon the hotel. Whenever you see this much wealth, assume that someone dirties his hands. Fortunes don't come to saints. So I just, I really loved the way Edgar was made in here. He was sometimes maybe a little too dark and broody. <laughs> Again, though, he was in history. Like, if I were writing a fictional character, he would be a little too dark and broody at times and very hot and cold. But again, that probably, there's probably a lot of accuracy to that. Frances is someone I don't know much about historical context-wise, but she was an interesting character. She was a well-fleshed-out character. I didn't have any issues with her. Mrs. Poe was interesting, too, because she was obviously a very sickly character. Now, I found her very annoying in this book, but I'm not sure how much of that annoyingness was historically correct and accurate. She very much says things that just are not appropriate to the situation. She is very hard to follow the conversation sometimes. And I don't know if that's because she's young, she's uneducated. I'm not really sure. But it was an interesting take on things. Like I said, I love the setting and the characters really came to life well. The plot was just okay. I would have liked to see different things in the plot, but again, we're working off through history. So that makes it kind of difficult. It's like we're trying to follow this book and keep it historically accurate and relevant. So some of the things that I would have maybe liked in the plot a little more didn't happen. And some of the things that were in the plot were kind of weird. If you are a Poe fan, if you are a mild Poe fan, <laughs> probably worth the read. I, I studied Poe in Gothic literature in high school. I enjoy his his stories. I'm not like a hardcore Poe fan, but this was a cool casual book with Edgar Allan Poe. 
I am going to get into some spoilers now of things that I had mixed opinions about. I don't believe they are spoiling history. Some of them are. Some of them are spoiling history. But some of it is like just this book and the way that they took things. So one of the things that didn't work for me in this book, or that I wasn't sure if it worked for me, is the writer kind of, I felt like, was trying to do a thrillerish twist. Frances has all of these bad things happening at her house. Um, somebody leaves the gas on at the lights, and it seems like they're trying to blow up the house. She gets hit in the head with an oar. I don't remember what else happens, but, like, a lot of different stuff happens, and she thinks it's Mrs. Poe trying to hurt her. In the end, it's revealed it's actually Mrs. Poe's mom. Uh, that is Edgar's aunt and the one who, I don't know that she raised him, but like part of the time he lived with her and her daughter. And she's been living with them and taking care of her daughter because her daughter has consumption. And I just, I didn't feel like that was maybe as fleshed out as it could have been because at the end we're just like, oh, Muddy's crazy and she's trying to hurt you because, you know, she feels like you're bad for her daughter but Mrs. Poe just wants to be her. Like, Mrs. Poe wants to be Frances. And you can kind of see that in the book. Like, that I didn't have a problem with. Like, she obviously emulates her, obviously wishes that she was the kind of woman that Frances is because that's what Edgar likes. And I think Mrs. Poe feels like Edgar's just, like, not as into her because he married her so young and she's so uneducated and she's not a writer and she's frail and weak from consumption and all this other stuff. And that actually was an aspect of the story in general that I liked, but it really surprised me because in, in our classes, we always learned that Poe really loved his wife, that, you know, a lot of his stories and poetries about mourning and death were because of this loss of, of this cousin who he married. But anyway, so... I, I think it was a good call not to make it Francis who was trying to kill, or I'm sorry, not to make it Mrs. Poe who was trying to kill Francis, but I didn't necessarily think the thriller aspect of this book worked very well. Um, another thing that was kind of strange to me, slash maybe didn't get the attention it needed, slash maybe should have just been taken out, I'm not sure, Francis has a daughter at some point named Fanny. And in this book, that happens like very, very, very late at the end. That did happen in history. The child didn't live very long. And people believed it was her husband's, despite her and her husband having a lot of separations. There's still question of whether this child, scholars generally believe it belonged to her husband, the author is taking it in the direction that it belonged to Poe. I understood kind of why she put that in, but so much of that felt rushed because by the time that's in the story, Poe's not really in Francis's life anymore. At least not in any significant sense. He doesn't get to see his... Ch I don't think he has a single scene with his child. I don't think we get any... I don't... We didn't get any, like, dramatic pregnancy reveal type thing or him doting over her during the, like it was just unnecessary it didn't add a lot to the story maybe I just it didn't work for me I could have done without that aspect of the story I kind of like I said I understood why the author put it in there as kind of proof of them having an affair but that didn't really work for me yeah so those were kind of things that I didn't love and I could see why she was doing them but they just, they didn't really work with the story. But if you are mostly interested in, like, the setting and the characters, this was awesome. I think the setting and the characters, including really good dialogue, this book has some really good dialogue in it, those were done well. The plot wasn't working as well for me as I would have liked, but again, she was working within the context of history, and history wasn't kind to this book as far as making it easy to write the story. So I do recommend it. It was interesting. Um, it did have some pacing issues maybe, 
but overall I enjoyed it. It was a good book. All right, guys, my social media is below. Please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.